Hey friends, this is Megan Elizabeth and I am here to show you exactly how to grab the home from Stories of Home by Katina and how to upload it into Cricut Design Space directly from here uh, in case you've never worked with it before. I do make SVGs every month but since it's in a uh, Facebook group, SVG formats aren't necessarily allowed. So I just wanted to show you how you can grab the PNG or the JPEG version of it because Katina already uploaded it here into uh, the Simply Documented group. So to be able to find it, you just wanna be able to click on the Media tab. And once you're in Media, click Albums, and right here is the Stories of Home um, icon. Now you can do it as uh, both layers of the home in one, just the front or just the shadow. I'm going to show you how to um, do the grouping. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to right click on it and save image as. So I'm just going to write stories of home. If I can type. And then I'm going to save it to my desktop. And it's going to save as a JPEG. It actually saves down here as well. So that's fine either way. Um, and I'm just going to show you a couple quick tips here. So we're going to go into Design Space. Um, Design Space is now um, an offline version. You don't actually go to uh, Cricut Design anymore. You actually download the app and it's really awesome. So I'm just going to click on New Project. And once I'm in a new project, I'm going to click Upload. Now this will work with any of the design space machines, the Cricut Maker, the Explore Air 2, the Joy, um, you just have to make it a different size. Once we're in here, we're going to click upload image and then you can drag the file. So I can drag it from right over here or you know what, hold on. Let's not drag it like that because that won't work on my screen, but we'll do it like this. We'll just browse it or we can drop and drag it and I'm just going to find stories of home open. And now I'm going to select the moderately complex because there's a few details here and I just want to make sure I um, handle all of that. So we're going to click on that. When you do an SVG, the background's already removed so you don't have to do this step. But because we are using this format, it works really easy just to do this. So we're going to start by, we have this little uh, select and erase tool, and I'm just clicking around anywhere there's white space. Wherever there's white space, I'm just giving it a click, and it's automatically removing, whoops, see, clicked in the pink. It'll automatically remove wherever you click. So it'll only cut where you want it to cut. So I don't want it to be all filled in. I want all these details that we designed to um, shine through and cut out in my Cricut. So if you decide, hey, I don't want all these little windows or I don't want this heart, you could just leave it filled in with the white space. All right. And Katina did separate out the two. So you can do it um, together or separately. So I'm going to click continue. All right. Now it's important. You are going to want to save it as a cut image. You can do a print and cut and it will, it will print this out in the color that it is and it'll cut the outline. But we want to make sure it's saved as a print and or saved as a cut image. So click on that. The image name is required and then you can do different tags or whatever works for you. I'm going to click save. And then it's already here completed, ready to insert my image onto my mat. OK, so now it will cut out both layers in the same color that I choose um, side by side. Now, if we wanted to do it separately, you can upload both individually, or here's a little trick that I like to use my slice feature with. If you click on shapes and grab just a basic square, you cover up one whole side of the image with that square. Let me just stretch this image over the house okay so that whole right side of the house is completely covered then we're just going to select both the square or now rectangle and the house and we're going to click this little slice button down here what that's going to do is separate this house from this house so it's almost like a cookie cookie cutter mirrored double image kind of thing and that's what allows you to separate it when you're doing 
a JPEG or a PNG like that. So now you can cut this out as two separate layers, two separate colors, and be able to layer it back together however works for you. But like I said, Katina did upload them separately, so you don't have to do that step. The only thing you'll have to do is remove the little white interiors in that initial upload. Um, and you're ready to cut. So I really hope that that's helpful for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, tag me in a comment in the group. I will be happy to help you. Um, you are, once you do this, you're able to resize it to literally anything that you want um, that fits on the mat size that you're working with. You're also able to unlock the proportions so you could stretch out the house and make it wider or make it taller or make it fit to whatever is um, really true to what you're trying to create. So you can make it a more stumpy house or you can make it a really tiny skinny house. Really, really, really the sky's the limit. All right, guys, enjoy the moments and I hope that you have fun creating and telling the stories of your home. Bye-bye.